We say we want fair workplaces. We say we believe in strong families. We need to do the right thing and prove it. And we need the Supreme Court to say that what happened to Peggy will not happen to any other women in this country. How hard is it to understand that if you're pregnant, you might need a minor accommodation, you might need to carry a water bottle, you might need to occasionally sit on a stool to take a little load off your feet, you might need an extra restroom break. UPS made those kinds of accommodations for other workers. If you had a long-term disability that required some lighter duty, if you had an injury on the job, if you lost your driver's license because you were convicted of drunk driving, you got an accommodation. But if you were pregnant, Peggy had to give up her job and her health insurance. In today's world, women are half the workforce. They are the breadwinners in two thirds of our families. In today's world, women should not have to give up their jobs simply because they're pregnant. So join us in this fight for very fair and family friendly workplaces. We know that's good for women it's good for our families, it's good for business, and it's good for our country. Thank you. Pregnancy Discrimination Act. And the whole purpose of it was basically to say to the world and to this court, we said what we meant and we meant what we said. Pregnancy discrimination is sex discrimination and therefore illegal under federal law. The Pregnancy Discrimination Act then went on to say that you have to treat pregnant women the same based on their ability or inability to do the job. And here is Peggy Young able to do a job and today's Supreme Court is discussing whether or not the Pregnancy Discrimination Act passed in 1978 meant what it said and said what it meant. And it does. It is as legal today to discriminate against Peggy Young and the hundreds of thousands, I fear maybe millions, of women who are discriminated against on the job for no other reason but because they were pregnant. Thank you.